Get your special sock out, nerds. It's gonna get good. The multiverse concept in Deadpool and Wolverine isn't just a convenient plot device to add layers of alternate realities. Instead, it serves as a vast playground for character development, offering an introspective look at who Wade Wilson and Logan truly are. When Wade travels from his own universe, Earth-1005, to Earth-616, it's his attempt to give his life greater significance. For Wade, the Avengers represent a chance to be part of something bigger, a group of heroes celebrated for saving the world. His rejection by Happy Hogan isn't just played for laughs, but is symbolic of Wade's struggle with self-worth. Despite his humorous exterior, Wade constantly grapples with feelings of inadequacy. He tries to find meaning in being a part of the Avengers because deep down, he's unsure of his own place in the world. His journey into the multiverse then becomes a search for belonging. When he fails to be accepted into the Avengers, Wade retires and becomes a used car salesman. This drastic shift in Wade's lifestyle is emblematic of his mental state. Without a clear purpose, he's reduced to mundane mediocrity, far removed from the larger-than-life persona of Deadpool. This plot point highlights a critical theme. Even someone as seemingly invincible as Deadpool can feel utterly lost without a guiding purpose. This Wolverine let down his entire world. He's the stuff of legend, but not in a good way. And what he did, well, some things are just beyond forgiveness. Meanwhile, Logan's role as the anchor being adds a deeper layer to his character. His existence was holding the timeline of Earth-1555 together, and his death caused the reality to begin unraveling. This notion of Logan being the literal glue that holds a universe intact aligns with his symbolic role in the X-Men universe. Logan has always been the moral anchor for the team a man scarred by violence but who continues to fight for what's right. The fact that his death could unravel an entire reality underscores how integral he is not just to the X-Men, but to the survival of his world. Logan's role as an anchor being reflects his inner struggle. He's always been the one to shoulder the burden, and now even after his death, that weight lingers. No matter what my so-called superiors say, the multiverse does not need a babysitter. We need a mercy killer, and in this instance, I am the mercy killer. Paradox and the TVA add another intriguing layer of complexity to this narrative. The TVA, an organization outside of time, is responsible for maintaining order in the multiverse, but Paradox operates with his own agenda. His manipulation of the multiverse and his desire to accelerate the collapse of Earth-1555 creates an existential dilemma for Wade and Logan. For Wade, Paradox represents the cold, calculated nature of time and fate. Paradox's manipulation of time suggests that even Deadpool, with all his time travel shenanigans, isn't in full control of his destiny. Wade's theft of the Timpad is an act of rebellion, a rejection of the predetermined fate that Paradox envisions. This is a crucial moment in Wade's character arc. It shows that despite his often hands-off attitude toward life and death, he deeply cares about the fate of his world and will go to great lengths to protect it. When Wade attempts to resurrect Logan from his grave, it's not just about saving his world. It's about trying to reclaim a sense of control. However, when this plan fails, Wade is forced to confront the painful truth that some things are beyond even his ability to fix. This moment of failure further deepens his internal crisis, adding complexity to the usually overconfident and invincible Deadpool. It's a rare moment of vulnerability for the character. Logan, on the other hand, finds himself thrust into a dilemma when Wade brings him back to life through a variant. For Logan, this is not just a second chance at life. It's a burden. He has lived with immense guilt over the deaths of his fellow X-Men, and his reluctance to re-engage in heroism stems from his belief that he's done more harm than good. Logan's moral struggle becomes a key focus of the narrative, as he wrestles with the question of whether he deserves to fight for another chance, or if he should let the multiverse unravel. She never said that! No, ah. but I bet she thought it. You are so mean! My brain could taste your fingers and they tasted like hate! Cassandra Nova, as the main villain, brings a different level of threat to the multiverse. She represents unchecked power, chaos and manipulation, serving as a dark mirror to both Logan and Wade. 
Her plan to use the Void and the Time Ripper to erase all timelines except for her own speaks to the idea of nihilism, an existential threat where nothing matters except survival and control. For Cassandra, the destruction of all other realities is a way to erase choice and chaos, something she believes is the root of all suffering. By reducing the multiverse to a singular timeline under her control, she reflects a desire for order, no matter how twisted that order may be. She's a reflection of the worst-case scenario in a multiverse gone wrong, a being so obsessed with control that she sees the destruction of all other possibilities as the only solution. Her twinship with Charles Xavier also plays into the theme of duality present throughout the story. Just as Charles represents hope, unity, and redemption for mutants, Cassandra represents destruction, chaos, and hopelessness. This thematic duality also mirrors the dynamic between Wade and Logan, one constantly looking for meaning through humor, the other trying to find redemption through solitude and violence. One of the most profound moments in the story is the climactic battle where Wade and Logan work together to destroy the Time Ripper. Both characters realize that in order to save the multiverse, they must sacrifice themselves. The symbolism here is rich. Both Wade and Logan have been defined by their ability to survive impossible odds thanks to their healing factors. But here, they face a situation where even their powers may not save them. Their decision to share the burden of the Time Ripper's destruction highlights the bond that has formed between them. They may be opposites in many ways, but both are driven by a deep need for redemption. Wade's journey from a selfish, often reckless anti-hero to someone willing to sacrifice everything for the multiverse shows his emotional growth. Logan, meanwhile, finds purpose once again, realizing that even after everything, he's still capable of being a hero. This shared sacrifice marks the culmination of their arcs. Both Wade and Logan come to terms with who they are and what they've done. Logan's decision to stay in Wade's world, despite the TVA's inability to fix his timeline, suggests that he has finally found peace. His past may be filled with tragedy, but it's that history that makes him the hero he is now. I did it for you. Even if you don't want me, I, I did it for you. At the end of the story, Wade's reconciliation with Vanessa signifies the ultimate resolution of his character arc. After all the chaos, multiverse travel, and battles, Wade realizes that what truly matters is connection. The people he loves, the relationships he's built. For Logan, his arc is more internal. While his timeline can't be fixed, his journey with Wade has given him the opportunity to find redemption. Both characters come out of this multiverse spanning adventure having rediscovered their sense of purpose. Deadpool and Wolverine is a chaotic, action-packed, and humor-filled adventure, but it's also a narrative about two anti-heroes seeking meaning in a world where the rules no longer apply. Through their journey, we see that even the most unlikely characters can find redemption, purpose, and a sense of belonging, no matter how broken their pasts may be. By exploring the multiverse and confronting existential threats, Wade and Logan learn that sometimes, the greatest battles are not against villains but within themselves. This team-up isn't just fan service; it's a deeper exploration of identity, purpose, and the human need for connection. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.